Okay, so here we are in Google Slides, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some images. Um, so you're going to insert images. So first off, you want to go to Insert, and then go to Image. Now, there's a couple different ways you can add images. You can get it from your computer, the web, or your drive. Um, first, I'll do one from the computer. So we'll go to my computer. We'll go to Images. And um, let's just select a formative assessment guide. Here's a formative assessment guide I've, I've done. Okay, so that's one from my computer. Let's say you want to insert an image from the web. Let's say you want to insert um, a cell wall. Here's a picture of a cell wall. It's selected go down to the bottom here press insert here's one from the cell wall and you also have the option of inserting from your drive and um, here's a blooms versus webs infographic And you can change the shape and now we're going to insert a video so we go to insert and if you want to insert a video just press video and now again you can do it from your drive a URL um, you could search YouTube um, I'm gonna type in let's say um, the quadratic equation here's one for the quadratic equation press select and there you have it. Insert if you already have the URL. So again, you go to video, insert video. Um, if you want to go from Google Drive, let's see if I have any videos in my drive. I've got some videos here. Um, select this one. And now you see I have inserted a video from my drive. And you can always press play. And if you press right, play, this video, I'm gonna do a couple there examples. it goes. And in this one, we're going to add text shapes and lines and things like that. So sometimes you'll have a text box that you can already write in, right? So this text box is already here. However, there's not a text box below. So if you just want to add your own text to, or, or move your text box somewhere else, again, this is all insert, right? So you're going to go to insert and then text box and now I'm gonna create a text box we're gonna put it right here and I can write this is the new text box from the menu and I can change the size of that let's make it f not 48 let's make it 24 so that's inserting a text box or just inserting text and now let's uh, let's add some shapes again we're, we're inserting everything right so go to insert shape and there's a bunch of different shapes right so let's start with a square here's a square you can fill it in let's fill it in yellow I'm gonna insert another shape let's do a circle we'll make that uh, purple we'll insert another shape And let's go to uh, let's just make it like an arrow or something. And here's here's an arrow type type thing. We'll fill this in blue. So now we've inserted a couple different shapes, right? We've inserted text, shapes, and now let's insert some lines, right? Um, you can see here that you can also just get the shapes a little quicker. Press this right here. You can get a text a little quicker right here. You can get to lines a little quicker, images a little quicker, but uh, if you ever forget it, it's always an insert, right? So you can go down and go to line, and now what type of line do you want? Let's do a, a regular line. We'll just do it all the way across, and you can change the width. Let's make it a four so it's a little more obvious, and we'll change the color. Let's make that line red. So there goes your line. So we've uh, we've inserted a line now, and there's other lines you can insert too, right? Let's say you just want to take a look from here, the shortcut. 
um, you could make a polyline, which is something like this. And uh, a little squiggly shape, right? Let's take the polyline. And we'll make that uh, green. All right, so here, here we have our, our um, you have your text over here. You've got your shapes and your lines. And now let's say you want to arrange them. So you see how the yellow is all the way in the back? Let's say I want to bring the yellow in front of, of everything. I can right click. And here I can go to order. And then I go bring to the front. And now it's all the way in the front. Look, it's on top of everything. Now let's say I, I want to say, okay, I don't want this uh, yellow box all the way in the front. I want it just, just one layer back. I go to order and send backwards. And now it's behind the green line. And maybe I want to take this yellow bo box and I want to say, you know what, let me put it all the way back down to the, to the back back again. Send to back. And now it's all the way in the back. I can take uh, this purple circle and you know what, I can bring it all the way to to the front right bring to front and there you go it's all in the front so you can always rearrange shapes and, and things like that okay um, let's say you want to insert word art which, which is uh, you know just, just, a, just a, a little a little more aesthetic um, go to insert go down and you can go to word art and you're gonna write what, what you write here this is word and there you have it Okay, but what you can do here is you can change the, the outline of it a little bit. Um, you can color it in. It's easy to move around. Okay, so you can have it like that, like this. You can stretch it out more. Over here, let's let's create some link text. Okay, so let's say I, I want to um, have a link. Uh, let's get a link for... Um, so let's say we want to see something for plants versus uh, animal cells, right? And... Um, Here's an article review from Khan Academy. Okay. So what we'll do here is we'll copy this link. Here we are. You have to click a text box because we're going to add some text. And then go to insert. And go to link. And here now you're going to enter the, the link that we did, right? So, so let's paste. This is the plant versus animal cell link, right, that I got from up here. Okay. We're entering that into the slides, and now what, what do I want it to say? Well, you, you don't want it to, to show this www because it looks ugly, right? So let's go and press apply. And there you have it as a link. And now when you click on this link, you can, you can either remove it, you can change it, or if you click here, it'll open up and it'll take you back to, to where we started from with the Khan Academy. So let's say you want to... Um, you know, make image adjustments. First, let's bring in an, an image, right? Here goes image. Let's get one from, um, let's get one from the web. Uh, let's do, uh, let's just pick, uh, we'll pick this one. Insert it. Here's our image. And what you can, there's a lot of different things you can do with this, right? Um, you can change the border. You can have a nice thick border. Okay, I did that again by, by clicking this little thing right here, border weight. I can change this is border color, make it black. I could also go to format, uh, format app, uh, excuse me, and um, you can recolor it. Let's take a look here. See? You can add a little bit of drop shadow. See a little shadow underneath? You can change the, the position, the, the size. You can rotate it and flip it and flip it and flip it. 